Good morning, student. Today we start with uh, lecture number two, and it's cover for chapter number three and the section from five zero eight, five zero nine. When I said lecture number two, that means we have the second one. We have the first one already, so you need to review the first one before you start with the second one, and it is the second lecture for one thirteen. Okay, so. If some student on architecture 110, if you open this one, you see that architecture 113. So uh, forget that. Go with your from architecture 110. This is belong to student architecture 113. And today we will discuss about the occupancy classification and the use from that one. Um, I don't know you um, familiar with occupancy before or not, but occupancy just in architecture just sometimes they want to talk about the number from the people in the building so for example you go to the restaurant in the entrance and close with the lobby area you can see one uh, if you look at on the wall they can put the note like how maximum occupants in uh, use for example they say 325 occupants that means they allow maximum 325 one time so if higher than that, you can get the ticket or you can get violation from um, the people in the building, uh, CT. So basically, today we will learn about that one. Um, I hope that you can enjoy and you later you know how um, what they divide in um, building code for occupancy, classification, the use from that one, and how many group for total, um, what about A, B, C, D, F, Crook, something like that. So you will learn some about the um, occupancy load. Okay, so we start with that right now. Um, when you hear something about the occupancy, usually we have ten general occupancy groups. That means we have ten general. They divide um, by the letter. You will learn later. In the key point, you can see that. You need to know about occupancy group. They have ten of them. Uh, how about space? Uh, they occupy with a different time or uh, with time from activity, uh, assembly use, or um, uh, how small for assembly use, classify, classify or different occupancy. Um, how about the structure between them or inside of them? And what did the group B? Group E stand for what? Uh, in this chapter, you will learn about that. Group I, group H, it stands for what? Uh, on the key point, you're also looking for uh, the International Residential Code. That means focus on residential only. You also have group M, stand for commercial, uh, merchandise, and group R, stand for residential. What is R1, R2, R3? Um, so that means international residential code is show you what is it and in this chapter we will go with that one I hope that after this chapter you can know exactly what the group is and how you design between um, the different one diff in one building or if the same group but different you know uh, classification and you know um, more information about the building codes about um, this one for this chapter so basically they divide 10 general group but one of the group they divide that's many different one so that's why totally when you look at this we have 10 of them one two three four five six seven eight nine ten different the group and each of the group one they can divide more it depends on the type from the occupancy and depend on the number from the people, general, like the age, uh, use it for the condition from this one. So now, if uh, some people ask you how many group, how many groups in, um, you know, in the building code design, and you said that generally they have 10 of them. The first one is assembly, education, um, I call for, you know, alphabet. Assembly, business, education, factory, hazardous, institutional, 
merchandise, residential, storage, and utility. So general we have like this. After that, each of the group one, maybe they can divide more, belong to uh, many conditions. They can divide them more. For example, group A, assembly. We have A1. It covers for theater, for concert halls, for motion picture theaters. And group 2, A2, you can see that it stands for casino, nightclubs, restaurant, and bankers, something like this. Group 3, they cover for amusement, uh, art gallery, bowling alley, place for worship, community halls, um, you know, any kind of halls, library, museum, and group 8, 4 skating ring, arena, swimming pool, tennis court, group A5, they have amusement park, structure, uh, bleacher, grandstand, and stadium, something like that. So just know, very basic one, just know that we have generally 10 different groups in uh, the code, and after that, each group, they divide more specific for each of them. Okay, so now if <clears throat> Sorry, B. Uh, when you learn before 10, you can see that group B is include for uh, the U from the business, a lot of the business one. However, if you look at this, they have many um, moderate fire load for the business one, moderate for density level, occupants, and they cover on the group B. So that's why group B standard you know that is cover for business one and what kind of business it can be banks it can be animal hospital can be um, uh, barber beauty shop car wash um, cleaner educational occupancy above 12 grades um, lab post office brings up radio television station so belong to group B and if we call that the group B occupancy group is have the number from occupancy if some of this one they cover for group B but the occupancy if they you know for example they have some office or some um, cleanest but group B they belong to group B but they get the occupancy is so high higher than 50 for example and that chained to group A so that's why if you see the group one like this, they have condition. They have something like the U from the business, the occupancy, and you know, they can change for another group. It's not keep like that forever. So now if you go with group E, E stands for education. But what kind of education? Education, they have occupancy include um, among the orders, the U from the building, the structure. So that's why more person at any one time for education purpose through trail grade. And this group includes for building, the structure, and everything uh, for personal care, serve it for fewer than 24 hours per day. That means they work look like daycare, right, like this. So that's why um, the education for group A, you need to know that from the child care, not uh, in 24 hours service and it belong to group E. And if you have the group E like that, um, the child care, they should provide for children two years old for the A or less than that for the child care. It's included in uh, group E. And uh, education facility limit to you for older student. If the older student and it just, it's not in the group anymore and it change to class B occupancy. See, so if you see group B or group E, some kind they change. It depend occupancy, depend on the you know the 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 purple from the user, and the group is just general meaning. And after that, they can change to another one if um the occupancy or condition for use it is different, so they can be changed. So now, if you go to F, F usually factory. It stands for factory, or uh, industry. Group F. This one in lieu for the use from the building of the structure, some of them you can see that it's um, regard with uh, a loss from manufacture, park, parketing, or repair or process for operator. 
So that's why if you look at this group app, maybe the aircraft, appliance, automobiles, bakery, business, cabinet and roofs, clothing, electrical, uh, elect electric generation, plants, electronics, food processing, larger than 2,500 square feet. Uh, furniture, so that means me work, printer or publishing. Uh, so that's why this one, a uh, lot of factory industrial. So if you look at this, they have separate for two, group FA1 and uh, group F2. F2 is more material than, for example, brick and masonry, uh, ceramic products, R3, glass products, and gypsum. Some kind like group F2 belong to factory, but it's focused on material more than uh, group F1 uh, for professing or, you know, some kind like um, um, factory, okay? So if you move a little bit more, you have group H and Yip H usually um, it's done for the hazard, so hazardous. So if you have this group, so that's why all of the structure may be more special regard with the fire. So the material, they call that the hazardous materials. That's um, the group H classification, it varies based on the type, the quantity, the condition, when you use the storage. So that's why group H, um, they usually call that the hazardous material. The hazardous material, that is the material easy to burn. So that's why fire structure is very special in this group. And the building codes, um, if you some people apply for group H, it takes um, time to go um, focus on the fire structure a lot because it's regard with um, the hazardous material. Okay, this is some of the table. They let you know that the class, this one is allowable, this one not applicable for, you know, maximum people or something. This is not really clear, but actually you can open the book. You can see that um, in the material is different and you can uh, maximum allowable for water type uh, contract area, hazardous. Some kind we call that the hazardous material. That means uh, we need to uh, review with the fire. Some kind like they say that's compostable. That means easy to burn, easy to, uh, no, not easy to burn, easy to fire. So that's why material, it's, um, some of them they allow, some of them may not. So this table, they let you know which one you can use uh, material in the roof H. And they have uh, very clear about clarification for you can see that's allowable how much you can do and uh, some kind not applicable something like this so now and that's group H group I is stand for institutional group I institutional it usually you for um, the building structure some of them they care for supervision in provide for persons so if you look at institutional they have classified a group I, and they call that the group I. So that's why they have three prod times. So if you look at this, that's the main, and after that they have another one. So if you have group I1, it belong to some of the alcohol and drug center, um, concrete care facility, group homes, halfway house, residential board and care facility. That means some kind of um, facility in uh, social rehabilitation facility. So group I, institutional. I2, it may be hospital, nursing home, psych psychiatric hospital, or foster care. So that's group I2. We have a lot of design on I2. If you are select um, architecture major, I think that group I2 a a lot of them uh, a lot of company they they work with because I2 for example the hospital or nursing home or some kind like uh, the first care you you I2 so I2 is one of um, the group a lot of people design for group I3 is cover for jails uh, prison or uh, you know, at the center for detention center for some kind like um, special service. 
I think, but not much. I think that's on 30 years I'm working on uh, architecture. I have only one design for TOLC um, prison jails. Uh, only one. Uh, it's on flies. Go to the South San Diego. It's so long ago. Just one only. And it's so funny. Um, when I work for the name from XNTB, and when I work for that, they order for design for uh, T.O. Lacey, the name is T.O. Lacey Jail uh, Prisons. And when they design um, for that one, we take like maybe uh, six months, three months uh, to design for that one. After that, when we finish the design for the first phase and we transfer to development, they change to hire another architect um, consultant. Do you know why? because this one is so special when we design everything about the structure about uh, architectural and they want to stop us right there before we jump to another consultant about electrical and um, electrical mechanical and plumbing the reason because they didn't lie we know a lot about the design for jail and prisons so that's why um, they change another architect just one reason because they don't want we know a lot that means everything about the design so they change another one that the uh, i mean just one only one um group i3 i'm designed during i mean 30 years i'm working on architecture so now last one is the group i4 is usually for child daycare and adult daycare that means all of the daycare it belong to i4 so remember, daycare belong to I4. So now we go with uh, group M. Group M is stand for merchandise, and the group M, um, they use for a lot of the store, so a lot of retail, wholesale, um, building with group M. They see a lot, so that's why usually we have a lot of design for group M, especially for retail. So uh, on the Group M, it can cover for department store, truck store, greenhouse, markets, a lot of market you need to design for, retail and wholesale store. Retail and wholesale store is very easy on design because everything very standard. You don't have any specific for that one. So on retail one, you design very basic building with, um, you know, a wall, space and um, plumbing fixture everything very simple for the retail one um, office but the cell rooms are different um, greenhouse truck store so that's why if you go to M it's simple this is required with um, uh, with the, the, the store the truck store every case about the store and after that we go with R. R is a lot of them. R stands for residential and if you tell that it's a design the house, you're okay. Because group R is um you know everything covered for residential projects. And R's if you know about R they have a lot about for the use for the people to live in, to sleep in the purpose. And after that relate with the low potential fire service and um, if you uh, take care about residential projects you have um, to do for uh, four different one like this um, if you go with fr1 is for design for any house larger than 10 occupants r1 and you can do for a hotel or the motel larger than 10 occupants so group r1 you can do motel r2 is a cover for apartment house larger than uh, 16 occupants you can do hotel you can do um, hotel for non trend uh, transition and you can design for motel also for vacation house on group two group r3 in the house for residential is less than five person. It can be two children unit. And right now, if you uh, if you go with um, my um, channel Happy Life True Life YouTube, you can see 
last week I shared with you about ADU it's the one of them a lot a lot of citizen right now they design for ADU ADU stand for accessory building unit that means you create something extra one from your existing house and right now the code they allow you to do that some people they have the land so huge and existing house not big so right now they have the good chance to create for ADU and after that they have junior ADU or expand the house for many reasons so group R3 is the one we work a lot so it's covered with residential and the house with um, less than five rooms and less than five occupants that's group R3 if you work for the major for architecture and you graduate from this one I'm guarantee with you you work a lot with residential and commercial hazardous um, child care uh, food store something like that not much but the restaurant theater supermarket shopping center and house residential house is a lot and lots of especially 24 fitness um, that's a lot that means a lot of projects you need to follow in so that's why residential and commercial is two of them you see a lot in your career group art four is include for alcohol truck center or another one for example um halfway house residential a board and custodian care facility social rehabilitation facilities so this one more bigger than group for r4 not much you not see a lot in um, your career design outside of that we have more group s and group s stand for storage and the storage that means you cannot live over there you cannot sleep over there you just do some kind um, working and after that uh, live alone for the stores so um, as they divide by two s1 and s2 s1 cover books paper in rows clothing furniture cranes lumber monitor vehicle repair garage um, this is s1 and s2 it cover with um, cement in bat aircraft hanger dairy products dry cell berry Electric, electric motors, food products, uh, chips and board class, a lot of material on contracts, and it belong to um, S2. That means the storage for uh, S2. And uh, U is the group they call that for uh, the group U. Um, un if you look at this, they call that this, the U is um, they have like unverified so the group U occupancy they have uh, the structure varies but it's usually not excessive group U for example you can see that agriculture building barn carports fence more than six feet in high you call that group U and um, private garage retaining wall shed stable tanks tower so basically group U uh, is the garage so you can see group U for uh, in your house for example you have the house and you design for the garage and the garage if you have four bedroom three bedroom three bathroom or you know some living kitchen something like that in the room separate between room and another room it's the same group but if you go with the, the garage and if the garage attached with your existing house and the wall between the garage and your house it should be five rate and they need to have the gypsum x the special material for fire you need to design that one up to the roof sheeting so that's why between the garage and the room is different roof because you have um, group U for the garage and after that the other group for the house residential so that the reason between them we need to special uh, wall for make sure that uh, it belongs to the code, the fire rate code okay so 
basically you learn 10 of the general group already so now I just um, share with you a little bit about one of the building but they have a different kind of group and what you need to do with that one for example you have the big building like this and you have group B for office after that you have group S for storage you have group F for manufacture and group H for hazardous because the hazardous so that's why the wall around them you need one hour fire rate resistant for make sure that uh, in case happen in the uh, in this room it's not affect to another room around so between group b and group s you look at this maybe you consider a accessory so non-separate or separate occupancy if comply with the section 508 so you need to go 508 you see that group B how maximum for the office one and after that storage storage is usually big but not um, a loss of occupants so and after that you have this one the big area for roof app manufacture and it can have a lot of thing right here so that's why occupancy right here bigger than so you look at that just one building but they divide many different groups and you need to solve for each of them okay in another example you can see that group B for business or non H that mean not hazardous and this is group F again manufacture this one group H for uh, permit size that means they have the limit size and after that this one is the table file of nine this this is the room for you know um, in accidency so that's why you need to see this one the main group right here the factory and after that group b so because this is group b and group f so we don't need to fire barrier this one and this one you don't need to create the firewall look like h but this one because this is the hazardous the hazardous that means they have store off on the material combustible that means easy to fire so that's why the wall right here should be one hour fire rate okay one more time one hour fire rate that means you have the special gypsum x and you need to um, to to design for up to the group sheeting for make sure it's not effect to this area if in case this one uh, fire something like that okay so more example for that so you can see that between the group and after that you have another group we have very special fire separation for example this is group B for business and group A for assembly and you need to have the wall around group A we need to do fire separation wall for this one for safety more example like that so um, um, you can know that even the same occupancy the same group but they different they divide by smaller section and we have different one this is another example you can see that group A2 that means assembly R1 residential housing and B for business so between business and R1 we have five resistance and after that assembly to um, residential we need that why the reason because they jump to the roof to another roof and this is different so that's why we need to fire separate for that one this is another table to explain more about you know um, how do you the occupancy how do you uh, uh, for the re separate that for requirement between group and group you see that's between room group how we can use that for uh, the separation one hour if they say the cast end that mean none vibrate one for one hour two for two hour none that means you don't need to worry about the wall the fire separate fire separate wall but if they say one that means you need one hour between them two or two hour so more information about this one so that's why on the chapter on this chapter you learn how about the different kind from the roof one the main thing you need to learn how about the different kind from the occupancy group uh, classification and the use from that uh, generally we have 10 of them 10 of occupancy group and after that each of the group one they can uh, divide more section for that one so go back again if 10 we can count that for a b e f i m u and um, i think that s for storage so basically if they 
count like they call that the group A. A stands for assembly. In assembly, we have four different ones. A1, A2, A3, A4. B for business, we have B1, B2, and uh, E for education. Again, we have E2, E1. And after that, we have F. F stands for factory. H stands for hazardous material. That means easy. Um, some kind like combustible material. That means easy to fire. And we have S stand for storage. N, uh, U for garage roof. Some F stand for factory. Uh, M for machine type. So basically, we have ten of them, and each of them divide. I hope that it will be um, help you understand about the group in uh, building code. And if you have any question, just email back to me. Um, with this chapter, this is the second one. So I hope that you have the time to go over with the first one and so on of the study section over there is Monty Choi and you continue with this one and uh, we have um, the fall section it start from next week I hope that from now until the weekend you can email from me for make sure that everything will be okay with you on the fall semester because email is the right now temporary right now in this hall in the uh, difficult periods this is the best communication between me and you so even right now i change this one to the online course but i hope that you spend more time to reading to answer the question and if you have um question to uh, email me I will open uh, conference zoom but this is optional um, you don't need to log in on Tuesday Thursday because it's a become online last right now so you don't need to log in on Tuesday Thursday however but some student log in on Tuesdays Thursday I give the credits extra credit for that student and this extra credits will be at on the final okay so hope that you enjoy the class and uh, next time if you look on uh, happy light true light youtube you see adu is the first example for you understand about how to design for adus in this weekend i continue with the second one that the extra one i want you learn more about the code for both class architecture 110 and architecture 113 about different things um, maybe i will share with you about how to know um, design the patio cover patio and enclosed patio and by the way i also share with you about the concrete uh, block around your house usually in the boundary house so if, if if you have any comment for this one or you have comments for this one just email back to me and which one you interesting with the topic let me know and i try to do to share with you on happy life true life thank you so much for watching um, this chapter 3 and section 508 509 this is lecture number 2 for architecture 113 I will continue lecture number 3 on the weekend and remember after you read on of uh, the chapter we have the question they call that the quiz but it's a the assignment so usually we have 35 of them multiple choice i need to see your answer email back to me don't later than the weekend for this week for example when we start from fall semester next week i need to see a session i mean study session number one and session number two no later than uh, the weekend that means the week from the fall semester start so remember so this is on of the question in there I post for you easy to do. Beside of this one, you can open canvas assignments. You can see this one also. Okay. So that's everything uh, I want to share with you today. 
one more time thanks for watching and hope you can go over with the class of uh, very good grade any happen uh, any question you can email me on this one and see you next time this is some kind of just extra one um, for remind you that's the textbook it IBC IBC study companion uh, this one I don't think we need anymore because um, we come to online right now so it's gone just extra okay and that's it I think that's see you next time